It's time for Ask Wendy. Everybody have a seat except for you, you, in the tutu. Yeah. You know I love crinoline. I know you do, girl. Okay. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I'm doing well. Good. My name is Renata. Of course. From North New Jersey. Hey, girl. Uh, Listen. <laughs> so, um, I met an older gentleman last year at a gala. Okay. And I went to the same gala this year. Yes. He ran me down for my phone number, girl. Okay. Now, he wants to take me out to lunch. Here's the thing, Wendy. He's 82. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I've been to my share of galas in life, yeah. and I must say, a gala is different than going to the club. Mm. When you go to a gala, you meet well-appointed gentlemen, Absolutely. and a lot of times they're older, very well -appointed. and sometimes they smell like money. Mm. Corn. Okay, now, yes, how, how he has old, a lot of corn. How old are you? I'm 34. And so what is your question to me? Should I go to Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! You go! How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. How can I help? Hi, Wendy. My name is Dana. Um, my husband is the life of the party everywhere we go. Uh -huh. He has a very bad habit of always wanting to buy drinks. Um, anytime we go to the nightclub, any bar, he buys drinks for his friends, my friends, my friends' friends. He'll drink, he'll buy drinks for anyone. <laughs> Can you all afford this? <laughs> he just loves it. He loves to treat people. I would say I would prefer the money to go in the bank, yeah. but he, he loves it. Well, drinks are expensive, so about, like, if you go out to the club tonight, how much do you think he will trick up? Um, <laughs> probably 300. How many kids do you all have? Three. How old are they? They're 18, 19, and 20. Oh, yeah. Um, you have to talk to him. Yeah, because he's a turnip king. And talk, but you know what? It, people will, it's, listen, you can't buy your way into people liking you. You know, right. ultimately speaking, you can buy your way into the initial like, but you can't keep them there by buying, it, it, just talk to him. He's a grown man. I'm trying. All right, it's... we'll talk harder. <laughs> Good luck, Dana. Good. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm from Philadelphia. Uh -huh. So I just uh, re-entered the dating scene a little while ago, maybe six months. Uh -huh. Having a nice time, feeling it out, meeting some people. Uh -huh. Just wondering, so now I have about three gentlemen on my roster. <laughs> Who's listen, judging? Listen, listen. Thank, she didn't thank say you. she's sleeping with thank all of them. You, Wendy. And if you I are, keep it to yourself. I will do exactly that. Mm -hmm. I will do exactly that. But I'm wondering if I should inform them or just keep it to myself. No. No. No, because you've only been dating them each for like six months yeah. and you're feeling it out. Yeah. Now, do you like one of them that you, the, the other two might be eliminated and you might start, you don't know. You're having fun. Yeah. Continue to have fun. Okay. And be safe. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. My name is Tawana. How you doing? How you doing, Talada? I'm good, thank you. Uh, there's a gentleman that I met a couple weeks ago at an event. He is so hot. As speaking with him for about 10 minutes or so, the attraction grew. The Did his grow for you? Uh, uh, were you seeing him? Was he seeing everything in you through beer goggles? You know what that no is? No beer goggles. Okay, okay. So the problem is, is he's married. You're talking to the wife. What are you going to ask me? The problem is he's married and I, I really don't care and I want to go for it. Sit down. Seriously. Um, we have time for another one. Hi, Lindsay. I'm Emily. Like, you, you can't talk to a wife like that. Do you I understand know, what Wendy, I'm saying? I'm sorry. Don't be disrespectful. Brady. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm 34. Okay, and you will remain 44 after 34 if you do something like that. Yes, ma'am. You understand? Yes. Okay. All right. Hi, Lindsay. I'm Emily. How you doing? How you doing? So my ex-boyfriend and I broke up about a year ago for, um, he's actually with the girl that he left me with for, and so, uh, he constantly calls me and texts me and says he misses me, and it's really annoying. Torpedo that! Right, okay. You send a heat-seeking missile right through that relationship. Okay, definitely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if, he, and don't take him back, right, right, but right. ruin it for her. Yeah. Because she helped ruin it for you. It's not her fault, it's his fault. But what, wait, what was your question? Well, my question was, what, what should I do? Like, should I tell his girlfriend? Tell her. Tell her. Okay. How you doing? 
Hi, Gwenny. My name is Bria. How you doing? Good, Bria. How can I help? Me and my husband have been married for five years, and he started hitting the gym, and his confidence level is going way too far. And now he's starting, he's looking good, but now he's starting to have, um, post half-naked pictures on Facebook, and he's getting a lot of attention from women. What should I do? Tell him to show Showing his V. Showing his V? Oh, he's got a he's V? He's showing his V. You tell him, in the name of marriage, he better stop. Okay? Yes. This is not even a conversation. Absolutely. What if you started posting pictures? Oh, boy. Right? Oh, boy. Yeah, you got to tell him to stop. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. My name is Ziggy. Mm -hmm. I'm a salon owner in New City, New York. That uh, explains it. Uh-huh. You know, I got to look the part. Thank you, thank you. Growing up, my mother never supported my career. She always wanted me to be a doctor or a lawyer. Oh. Now that I'm a successful business owner, she keeps popping up. Oh. And she's asking for the whole service. She knows she wants the cut, the color, the tweeze, everything. And she doesn't even make an appointment. Yeah. And then she doesn't want to pay. So what can I do so that my mother doesn't take advantage of my business? Well, it's interesting when your mom pops up on the scene at your job. <laughs> when they didn't originally support that job to begin exactly. with. Exactly. But what I would say is I would have a very curt conversation with your mother and tell her she is to bring tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. And pay full price. And no, no. <laughs> but, but she does need to bring tip and she needs to make an appointment with you. She doesn't have to call the front desk. Make the appointment with you and not when she's up the block about the park. Okay. 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 Very well. All right, now. Hey, Reverend Ike. <laughs> hey, Wendy, I'm Corey. How are you doing? Hi, Corey. How you doing? <laughs> All right, so I need a little bit of help, right? So me and three of my friends been planning this trip to Miami for uh, months now. Okay. All right, so we decided that we were going to split the cost four ways. Mm -hmm. So last week, a friend of mine told me that he doesn't want to go anymore, so he's going to ditch our trip because he wants to go on an international trip with some other friends. So now the three of us have to make up his share. So is it okay if we ask him for I'm going to hit the... you with my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going. He's a jerk. You know what? First of all, he needs to be kicked out of the friend circle. Amen. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I, like, life is tough enough. There's no room. Uh, no, I mean it. Like, he's, he's no longer you all's friends. And second of all, you all need to figure out how you're going to pull in the rest of the money and still go on this trip. Yeah, because we're not going to have enough money, like, as much money to turn up as we would have before. <laughs> what? Well, you'll just have to figure out where to get your turn up money. <laughs> if, in, in the meantime, he's no longer our friend. Okay? And have fun in Miami. Turn down. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy. Yes? My mother has a best friend. My mother is 80 years old. Her best friend wanted to introduce her to sex toys. She's been married to my... I know. She's been married to my father for over 20 years. Why would my mother think it's okay to talk to me about sex toys with my father? How can I keep her to keep her sex room away from me? Oh. Help me, Wendy. Just tell her, Mom, we could talk about everything, and I'm so glad that you and Daddy have a healthy sex life. Sex toys at 80 is pretty amazing. <laughs> But no child wants to talk sex toys right. with their mom. With their mom. So all you have to do is tell her to watch this at midnight on BET. And <laughs> you're take care of it, okay? Very well. Good luck. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Good. Hi. My name is Diana. My boyfriend works 12-hour shifts, and he's always tired. Usually after work, I want to have sex, but he's, like, he's never in the mood. <laughs> And it's like, we haven't had sex in two months. I don't know, should I, do I have, do I have the right to be frustrated or should I just yes. be patient? <laughs> yes, you do. Yes. You have the right to be frustrated. God, just like, okay. I feel bad because he's working. He's not like at the club. It's two but... months. <laughs> I know. And two months know. is, not, you're not, not just do you have the right to be frustrated, you have the right to be suspicious. <laughs> you think so? Oh. Okay. But be frustrated. Thank you. Thank All right. Thank you, Sorry Wendy. for putting that in your head. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. My name is Shannon. Okay. The thing is, um, there's this guy. He's interested in me. The thing is, he's 16 years older than me, recently divorced, and has a 25-year-old son. What? I like, I like him as well, but I don't know if the age difference in his son being 25 is going to be an issue. Like, what should I do? Where are you from? I'm from Newport News, Virginia. Okay. 757. Yes. <laughs> I, I hear it all in here. Okay, listen, um, how old are you? I'm 31. Okay, 
A 31-year-old dealing with a man with children is definitely passable for me. I, if you told me you were 27, I'd be like, boom. But, you know, my rule is always, generally speaking, don't deal with men with kids until your 30th birthday. <laughs> the idea that the boy is 25 years old means he's out of your hair. Right. Him being 16 years older than you, he can take you places you've never been. <laughs> so enjoy your new relationship, okay? All right. We have time for one more quick one. My name is Melissa. How you doing? How you doing, Melissa? Me and my husband have been married for 23 years. We live in the Poconos. He commutes to New Jersey to work. He feels it necessary to stay in a crash pad during the week and come home on the weekends. And I'm not really cool with, I'm not comfortable with that. And I want to know if I'm being unreasonable for him to come home every day. Um, yeah, well, how far is your, your Pocono commute? I an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Well, there are plenty of people who commute an hour and a half a day. Right. Um, and I find a crash pad unnecessary. Right. You don't suspect anything going on, do you? Nah, you just miss we've had those, we had our issues, but yeah, we're good now. Yeah, you, yeah. It's just the idea of him right. thinking. Right. Yeah. Well, then why don't you all either move closer or he needs to um, take that ride every single day. Okay. okay? Very well. Hello, okay. Wendy. My name is Shamont. How you doing? Hi, Shamont. So my question, Wendy, is I have a friend that lives in Africa and we've been dating for the past year. Oh, a friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm 40 plus. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's 29. Okay. So my question is I am planning on moving there later this year. And I'm not sure if I should pursue a relationship with him because of his age. Do oh. you think it's safe for me to get my groove back? It's absolutely safe. But but I have more important question. Are you moving there because of him? No. No, I love Africa. Okay, okay. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Get it, girl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Hi, my name's Alexis. Uh -huh. How you doing? Hi, Alexis. How can I help? So my question is, I've been dating a guy for about six months now. Things are really great. We have great chemistry, and we're starting to get a little more serious. But the only problem is, he does not like foreplay. He just likes to get right in there, right? That's it. It's a big rush. It's always a rush. He never takes his time. So how do I bring this up to him without hurting his feelings? You just take control of the situation. I got it, I, right? I mean, just t take control of the situation. I, you know, any experienced woman would say yeah. that you can't, you can't tell him about it. You've got right. to kind of show him, like, yeah. you know, and, yeah. Bring it. <laughs> Good luck. Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm Destiny, and I bought my boyfriend of three years a Christmas present that he really wanted. Some Timberlands, a socks, a whole outfit. Uh -huh. I thought he liked it until I went to his phone and saw him texting the ne another female saying how he did not like the gifts. Well, who is the girl, first of all? A uh, close friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're not dealing with the friend. We're dealing with the issue of the clothes. Yes, and the friend. Hmm. But, well, yeah. And then the friend? Well, uh, well, first of all, you know, you violated, you went through his phone. Yeah. And, you know, in, in this, you know, back in the day, it wasn't corny to say, you know, I went through your phone because mm -hmm. we were all getting used to cell phones right. and the nosiness and the information they could provide. But right. these days, that's really corny. Yeah. You know, of you. Uh, but, <laughs> Dang. But, but I understand you have to get your information and you seem young. How old yes, are you? 20. There you go. At 20 years old, you still run a man's phone. Yes. <laughs> uh... I would not tell him because you don't want him to change his password. Otherwise, okay. you won't have access to information anymore. All right. All right. Uh, but what I would do, Destiny, is I would approach him and I would say, look, uh, you know, I got you this outfit. You haven't worn it. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the problem? Don't mention the other girl. Okay. Okay? Got right. it? How long, got how long have you been with him? Three years. Three years too many anyway. Okay. You're only 20. Right. Okay. <laughs> so my name's Olivia. I'm 24. My boyfriend and I have been living together for eight months. And we only he moved in after one month. And I'm, we do everything together. We eat together, we drink together, we go to the gym together, we go to the clubs together, we do everything together. How do I politely ask him <laughs> to give me some space, maybe move out without him breaking up with me? Uh, how old are you? 24. Okay. Does he have an apartment of his own? No. He lives with his mom? He lives with me, kind of. But where did he live? He's he... from Jersey. He lives with his family in Jersey, and he moved in with me because he works in New York. Okay. 
this is not going to work. Um, you're only 24 years old. You might want to throw him back and, and get another. Because, well, I'm, I'm set, you've only been dating for how long? Eight months. So we've known each other for two years. Two years. We went to school together, yeah. All right, well, then you know what? Have the conversation with him. Tell him he needs a Jersey Transit Pass to get back, to get back and forth to Jersey. Okay. And also, why don't you go to an all-girls gym or a gy different gym membership? You know what I mean? Sure. Um, you have to reclaim your life. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But I also understand that because he lives with his parents, mm -hmm. you know, you are very convenient. Right. Too convenient. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> Have the conversation. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. My name is Jade. How you doing? Hi, Jade. Well, I was in my last relationship for almost 13 years. So when I started dating this boyfriend, I made it kind of clear that within a year, I want to know where we're going. Either I want to be engaged or I want to be pregnant. Why are you rushing me? And Wait a minute. <laughs> the question is whether or not I should let him do this in his own time or it should be ready for Wait, him to put Jade, a ring on it. <laughs> Jade, how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, so you spent all of your 20s and your 19 with this guy, with the, the first... The previous. Okay, so yeah. you feel like you wasted all those good years. It's not so much wasted, it's just we get, we're comfortable and yeah. I felt like it should have ended before it did. All right, but one year's too much, too, too soon. I, yeah, I, don't, I, don't like, need, I don't even know if I love you. I mean, I love you, but I might not be in love with you. I'm not well, sure. He, he loves me. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I love him. He's great. Uh, does he love you enough to marry you? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, that's not enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh God. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel the pressure. Yeah. No pressure. Then just like give him some time to get there on his own. <laughs> not years, but <laughs> not give, like 13. Years, no. But give him some time. Give him a moment, Jade. Okay. I will. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hey. Oh. How are you all? How you doing? My name's Danielle. I'm pregnant with twin girls. Oh, wow. Good for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, I picked out some names, some unique names, and my mom hates them. Okay, so I'm here trying we to go. decide, yeah. Do I change the names to... Is it Bumquetta? No. <laughs> it's Rayan and Raisa. Oh. Yeah, they're... they're African Muslim names That's and they have great ratchet. Meaning. Yeah. What does your mom want? Michelle, Wendy, Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> so I'm real born in common. So I'm trying to figure out like how do I get her off my back? First of all, she's yeah. not the boss of us. Yeah. Exactly. I'm 29. Uh, okay. Exactly. What did your baby's father say? He picked the name, so he's oh. like... <laughs> you, you go with the names that you want. Your mother had a chance, and mm -hmm. she named you Danielle. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And there's nothing... No, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with that. That's no, not what I meant. I just wrong. meant that, you know, these days, ratchet names are popular, but they, those aren't ratchet names. Yeah, exactly. Good luck. Thank you. Danielle. <laughs> All right, so what's the sitch? Well, I've been with my boyfriend for 10 years, mm -hmm. and recently my high school sweetheart came around. Oh. Yeah. And we've been hanging out behind his back, and I'm catching feelings. So at this point, I'm between two men. So what should I do? Hanging out, do, hanging out doing what? Oh, we're just hanging out innocently. Yeah. But still, it's something that your boyfriend wouldn't approve of. Of course not. Okay. So it's like cheating, because cheating comes in many forms. You don't necessarily have to sleep with somebody. somebody. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I don't know what you should do. I can't answer this in, a, you know, a mere segment in a one-hour show. <laughs> um, but I, I, I can say to you that when, when people from your past come into your present, they bring up nostalgic feelings of, of when you were young and used to have fun and life wasn't so serious and before the children and maybe when your hair was thicker, maybe when your... <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm reminding you. Yeah. When your hair was thicker, before a wrinkle formed, before you gained the 10 pounds, you, this person reminds you of all that stuff. So I don't think that you're in love with this person. What I think is you're in love with something familiar from the past, and he, it just happens to be him. I would not, I would not, I would not screw up my 10-year relationship. Do you love your boyfriend? I don't know. <gasps> If the boy, if, 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 your, if your high school sweetheart hadn't come along, d do you love your boyfriend? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Do you have children with your boyfriend? No. Would you like to break up with your boyfriend? Yes. Well, then, well, <laughs> well um, 
don't don't say his name, but you might as well just look in the camera because we <laughs> 52 countries our show is and growing. So now the whole world knows. So you've got something to talk about when you get home. Yeah, I do. Okay, all right. Well, good luck with your Thank new you. life. Thank you. The Wendy Williams show, breaking the houses every day.